Both President Trump and the Democratic nominee Joe Biden are trying to persuade voters that they are the best choice to revive the country in the near future and for the long haul. This week, our chief economics correspondent Paul Solomon takes a look at the economic agenda of Joe Biden. It's part of our regular series, Making Sense. Here we are now with an economy in crisis, but with an incredible opportunity, not just to build back to where we were before, but better, stronger. At stump speeches, and more recently via Zoom, Vice President Joe Biden makes the case for why he's the person to lead the economy out of the COVID crisis, which has nearly 30 million Americans receiving unemployment insurance. Biden's plan? First, says Jared Bernstein, what he would do is very much the opposite of what you've seen uh, the current president, President Trump, do. Uh, he would listen to the physicians. Tests, masks, tracers. But Bernstein isn't a doctor. He was the chief economist for Vice President Biden and now advises the campaign. Economic step one, says Bernstein, immediate relief. People need relief in terms of uh, unemployment insurance coverage, in terms of state and local fiscal relief, nutritional support, support for renters. So Biden says, among other things, he'd extend unemployment insurance, consider another round of stimulus checks, and initiate paid sick leave for all workers who get COVID or have to care for sick family members. That's right away. And after that? One thing that Vice President Biden has been crystal clear about is that simply getting back to where we were sets the bar way too low. Which is why the campaign calls its plan Build Back Better focusing on manufacturing, climate and infrastructure, racial equity, and support for child care and adult caregivers. When Vice President Biden says building back better, he means building an economy that is far more resilient to the kinds of shocks that come fast and furiously in today's global economy. We can't have an unemployment insurance system that we have to reinvent every time we hit a recession. We can't have a health care system that is totally dependent on your connection to work. Because what if 30 million people lose their jobs in a pandemic, right? We can't have an environment that is continually uh, degraded. So Biden has a slate of policies. There's, you know, 45 of them at last count, from clean energy to infrastructure to manufacturing to the caring agenda. That's what they're all geared towards. You may be relieved to hear we won't enumerate all 45, but highlights include a carbon pollution-free power sector by 2035, creating millions of new green jobs, $775 billion for caregiving, including universal pre-K to three- and four-year-olds, expanding access to $100 billion in low-interest loans to communities of color, and a $700 billion Buy American campaign. $400 billion on goods and services made in the U.S., and $300 billion more on R&D into new technologies. As to buying American, President Trump said, He plagiarized from me, but he can never pull it off. He likes plagiarizing. Uh, it's a plan that uh, is very radical left, but he said the right things because he's copying what I've done. The idea of Biden copying Trump makes zero sense because Trump never gets anything done, and Biden is all about implementation and execution. But what about paying for all this spending? Taxes, right? Or as President Trump put it, the Biden plan just won't happen. Because he's raising taxes way too much. He's raising everybody's taxes. So Biden would increase the top income tax rate to 39.6%, for example. Yeah, he's taxing people. He's going to be taxing me. <laughs> Nothing personal, but I suspect that if we have a $400,000 cutoff, which we do, um, you'll be okay. If I were to make, uh, I don't know, $410,000, then I'm suddenly going to be taxed no. at a higher rate on the whole amount? Or no, 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 no. These are marginal tax rates, so you would be taxed on that 10000 that's above four hundred. So anything below 400000 is uh, is left alone. The Biden tax plan also includes capital gains on income of more than $1 million taxed at 39.6%, the corporate tax rate raised to 28%. One nonpartisan group predicts the plan would raise some $3.5 trillion over 10 years. Critics say the policies will cost a lot more, mainly by increasing taxes for the top 1% to pay for Biden's spending. To pay for it by tapping 
uh, some of the excesses in our age of inequality. I've been knocking around for a long time, <laughs> the week before the conventions happened, uh, interviewing people like you, in fact, you in the past. Uh, and those promises I've heard every four years, going back into the 80s, and so few of them actually get implemented. What makes you think that this time is different? Biden uses his skills to get things done, to execute them, and to explain to people uh, how he's doing it, or if he's being blocked, who's blocking him. So to me, it's the difference between reality TV and reality. For the PBS NewsHour, Paul Salt. Now, let's turn to Stephanie Sy from our NewsHour.